Hey, Zeno here. Uh, we have a tutorial for making a dubstep growl with automation using FM8 and Reaper. Some of the topics we're going to cover is linking envelope parameters using LFO modulator and MIDI control. Uh, since this tutorial is going to use FM8 and Reaper, we are going to start off with a brand new Reaper session. So let's go ahead and get that new project started. Uh, first, we want to start off by inserting a new track. So I'm just going to go up here and do track and insert virtual instrument on new track. Um, when I did this, I used the VST of the FM8. We're going to start off with expert mode. We want to come over here and activate each of the operators by right clicking on them. And we want to activate A through F. Next thing we want to do is create some relationships between each of these operators. Um, first, we're going to do E through F, and that's going to be left click where they intersect here, and then left click and drag up. And then next, we're going to do the D through F, left click and drag up, and we're going to leave that one right around 34, 35%. Um, the next one we're going to do is A through E. So we have A to E, and we're going to set that one all the way down around, you know, 7 or 8. Then we want to do C to D at 100%. For those two intersect, left click and drag up. And we want to do B to D at 100%. And of course, that's B to D by way of C through D. So this is the way our matrix is set up. Now we want to set the individual options for each of the operators. So we go over here and operator A ratio needs to be set down to zero. B set to zero and C set to zero. D is set all the way up to 40. And it's easy. It's just to kind of click in there and type four zero and tab out of it e and f they need to be set at one after setting the ratios we're going to skip the offset and come over here to waveform operator a is going to be a waveform of sine operator b is going to be a waveform of tx wave five operator c is going to be a parabola Operator D is going to be the 1 plus 2 plus 3 sol. Operator E is going to be a triangle. And operator F is going to be a sine. Next, we want to come over here and invert operators B and D. We want to make sure key sync is set on for all of them. And that the velocity of each of our operators that we're using, A through F, is maxed out at 100%. That pretty much takes care of everything in expert mode. At this point, we go to master. And we want to make sure that uh, polyphony is set to 8, voices is set on 4, uh, transpose is negative 24, and digital is up to the max. Uh, now it's time to link these parameters to their envelope controller uh, track. So we're going to select expert, to left click on the B to D intersection, and then we're going to come over here and left click on the envelope dialog. We want to make sure that uh, show last touch is checked. Um, if not, we get this very large selection. Uh, 
but as it is, we want to make sure this is B to D and we make it visible. And at this point, um, we're going to set it to right. And that's all we're going to do with B to D. Um, next one we want to look at is going to be the C to D. So we left click it and then we open up the envelopes and make sure that C to D is the one we're, we're looking at. We don't want it to be visible. We're going to select the modulation. And we're going to link from parameter. And it's going to be set to self 235. So we would select it like that. And then hold the two key until we get down to 235. And then you would select 235. And then you would close that dialog. The next one we were going to do would be E to F. And go ahead and open up its envelope dialog. It's not going to be visible. We go ahead and check out the parameter modulation dialog for it. Link from parameter. Again, we would go in and select number 235. And then close that dialog. Now we're getting ready to do one that's a little bit more tricky, D to F. I'm going to go ahead and left click on it and then go over to the automation, the envelope automation, and go ahead and activate it, make it invisible. Let's open up the parameter modulation dialog, link from parameter, and we want to go to number 235, hold the two key. We see that come up here. And this one we want it to set to 35%. Then we're going to close that dialog and make sure this automation mode is set to right. And over here, we'll notice now that's around 34, which was kind of the setting we wanted. So we still have one more left to go. That's A to E. Left click. Open that track envelope dialog. Go ahead and enable it. Uncheck the visibility. Get the modulation. Dialog opens. We want to link from parameter. This time we're going to link it back to the same place we've linked all of them. Number 235, hold the 2 key. And this one we need it to uh, max out around 8. Um, I had this strange ratio that, that just seemed to work out best for me. And that is negative uh, 19 here on the scale and then we set uh, a rather negative 19 in the offset and 20 in the scale uh, 10 and 10 in the scale so you see we have negative 19 in the offset and 10 in the scale and that gives us a number of 8 um, that is just kind of creates a nice ratio for when the key starts moving. 
Now we have all these tied together. And you can see now, when we move the modulation from B to D, it modulates everything in all the, the we, it modulates everything in the correct ratio. Okay. Now that we have the links set up, uh, we need a way to control those. Now we could draw an envelope in the automation uh, lane over here. Probably a more practical way would be to link it to a MIDI control device. So we can come over here and click the MIDI learn button and then uh, use the knob or fader. In my case, I like using the fader. Arm envelope for selected parameter is set. And now we're controlling it. And now we're all ready to record. Let's go ahead and get that out of our way. Make sure the repeat or uh, loop recording is set on. Make sure FM8 is ready to go. Okay, and uh, we're going to remove all of those and play that back. When you go to play back, you put that in trim read mode. And that's basically how to record an automation. Um, there's another way to do it too. If you don't want to use the MIDI controller, you can use the LFO to control it and control the modulation and record that way. Um, that would, we would select modulate this parameter and uh, LFO. And you see the LFO is running there. Um, I like to use tempo sync and... <laughs> Oh, I like it at 0.6 something, usually about 0.67 or somewhere around there. But. Get it set up to where I like it. Go ahead and toggle the looping on. And then arm this for recording. Uh, before we do that, we need to make sure that we're in write mode. Okay, and press play. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial on making a dubstep growl with automation using FM8 and Reaper. We covered linking envelope parameters using LFO modulator and MIDI control. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below. I want to know what you think about it. And tune in for other great tutorials to come and music. Thanks for watching.